Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 25th. Happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Megan. And happy birthday to Eli yesterday. And hi, Jamesy, and hi, Bella, and hi, Jamie, my brother. Anyway, I uh, wanted to make a video and uh, kind of give an update. Um, I thought my doctor's appointment was yesterday, and I showed up, and it's not until next Wednesday. <laughs> So I'm actually bummed about that because I've been feeling pretty crappy lately. So I want to find out what's going on. Um, I am going to stop by uh, Walmart today and buy a blood tester because I can't find mine. So um, what else? I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, couldn't sleep. And um, like I said, I, haven't, I just haven't been feeling good. And I think that's what's worrying me. But, um, so while I was awake, I thought I would take a look at, um, my food journal. So I've still been journaling my food, um, for over a week now. And, you know, I thought that by journaling the food that it was helping, but I wasn't seeing a difference on the scale. And I thought, that's so strange because I'm writing it down. Isn't that supposed to work? And, you know, writing it down has made me more aware. I've eaten much worse in the past than what I'm eating now. Um, but yesterday's calories, the 24th, and I will admit I was very anxious because of the doctor's appointment, so I ate a lot. I, I binged. I went to Sweet Life and got goodies and ate them all. Um, but my calories yesterday, are you ready for this? All of you guys that are doing weight loss right now are going to be shocked at this but calories yesterday uh, 4,872 now I had to guess on the pedophores and the cookies but still <laughs> it's quite a lot um, the previous day um, again I cooked at home um, which I thought was better um, but my calories for the 23rd was 4,669. So, uh, that's quite a wake-up call. You know, and like I said, those aren't even the worst days. <laughs> I didn't want to count the worst days because I just don't want to know. So, moving forward, at 5 a.m. when I couldn't sleep, I had a can of Diet Cherry Pepsi, which was zero calories, and a yogurt, which was 100 calories. And that's where I'm at so far. So I'm getting ready to go to my volunteer job for a little bit. And uh, after that, I'm going to go grocery shopping and hopefully get some good stuff. So, um, but like I said, I mean, maybe it's at the point where I don't even know what's good anymore. Because like I said, I did cook at home. So, um, anyway, so if anybody has any suggestions, I know everybody's busy, but... If you want to email me some meal plans or ideas or um, just just an idea. I mean, the problem is, like, I'm so addicted to cr uh, sugar and processed foods that I'm afraid if I just stop eating them that it'll actually have, like, a the opposite effect and I'll rebel. So whatever I do, I need to ease into it which I thought was what I was doing by cooking at home, but as you can see, you know, I, I'm just thinking of the days where, because some of those days I had fast food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The two days I added up, I had fast food for breakfast and for lunch, but dinner I cooked at home. So that's the problem. I mean, when I eat breakfast at uh, Carl's Jr., it's, let's see. I usually get two of their bacon and egg burritos. Those are 550 calories each. And then I get a, a mocha milkshake with it, which is almost another 500 calories. So some people only eat 1,500 calories a day. And I'm eating 1,500 calories for breakfast. So just it puts it into perspective. So anyway, like I said, if anybody has anything to offer, any advice, but realistic advice, I mean, I'm... I'm 
super morbidly obese, you know? I mean, I'm used to eating 5,000 calories a day, so I obviously can't go from eating 5,000 calories a day to 12 or 1,500. So I need like a happy medium to start. So anyway, hope everybody's doing good. I'm sure everybody's doing much better than I am. So, um, but I'm keeping my head up. I'm making these videos. So that shows something. So, um, I'll see you later. Bye.